manifesting our plans and dreams for a healthier future. That is making clear evidence of the understanding of how African governments, with case study being Cameroon, can improve their health financing. That is ensuring that health is accessible, affordable, and of quality according to individual needs. The following will have to be done. One, respecting the terms of the African Leadership Meeting 2019, that is the Addis Ababa Declaration, which stipulates that we need to improve the status quo of health financing, increase domestic funding for healthcare in a more efficient and effective manner, allocating at least 15% of our total government budget for healthcare as stipulated by the Abuja Declaration 2001, obtaining specific resources from communication and banking companies for healthcare. Example is the 0.2 increase in mobile money transactions in Cameroon. Part of this money can be specifically dedicated for healthcare in Cameroon. Also, getting tax proceeds from beer and cigarette production companies. This will help in saving lives. Subsidizing health financing through conventional associations, that is faith-based organizations in Cameroon, we have the Baptists, the Catholics, the Presbyterians, etc. They have health facilities in many rural areas and hinterlands where few government facilities may exist. This will bridge the gap of inequity of healthcare delivery. Also, train medical personnel through quality control mechanisms. Retain them and make sure they are well paid. Also, enhance strong policies that encourage and ameliorate their push forces, that is forces that want to make them leave the country, and ameliorate the pull forces that will make them work and stay in Cameroon. This is going to reduce the patient to health worker ratio. Train medical personnel by building state-of-the-art hospital training facilities and pharmaceutical companies. This will make their medical training more pragmatic. Develop front lines using integrated public health security training curriculums and implementing context-specific national action plans for public health security, which is critical for making sure that we prevent outbreaks from becoming large-scale epidemics. Lastly, continuous sensitization of IEC, that is information, education, and communication of the importance of healthcare of a country and making sure that the message of universal health coverage is clearly understood. Universal health coverage does not mean free health care, but that out of pocket will be considerably reduced and will align us with the future of health care we want.